in this question, you have to sketch the cubic function y is equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x and show all intercepts. So first of all, there's no constant or number at the end. So that means a common factor of x can be taken out. So that's a good first step. So doing that, x times x squared equals x cubed. And then that becomes, the next term becomes minus 6x and then plus 9. And then this can actually be factorized to x minus 3 squared. And when this is a plus and this is a minus, and this number here, the square root of it, when you double that square root and get this number here, it means that whole thing can be factorized to this something in a bracket squared. And it's called a perfect square. And from here, you can find the x-intercepts by letting y equals 0. And that means 0 is equal to x bracket x minus 3 squared. And from there, you can say either x is 0. So there's the first one. So that's from this x. Or that's the first x-intercept. Or x minus 3 all squared equals 0. And then solving that, getting rid of that square root by taking the square root of both sides, you get x minus 3 equals 0. And from there, x equals 3. And that's the second x-intercept. Because this is a repeated factor, x minus 3 times by x minus 3, that means that this x value is where the graph actually touches rather than goes through at that value. So the graph intersects at x equals 0 and touches at x equals 3. Now the graph is going to be a positive x cubed shape like that because of this positive, positive x cubed term here. And that means it's going to go up through naught and then touch at 3 like that, something like that. So there's the graph and there's no restriction on the domain. So you need to put arrows on the ends of the graphs, graph and then also mark in these x-intercepts. So that one at naught, this one at 3 and labeling these so that would be x is 3 and this would be x is 0 and there's the graph i've done what the question asked shown all intercepts and in fact this is also the y-intercept so that's it that graph is done this second cubic function has a restricted domain starting with y equals minus 3x minus x cubed again there's a common factor and again there's no constant term so that means it's going to pass through naught naught so taking out minus x you get 3 plus x squared in the bracket like that from there to find the x-intercept again letting y equals 0 you end up with either x is 0 it's really minus x is 0 and from there x equals 0 so that's the first intercept and that's actually at naught naught because x is naught and y is naught and the other solution is 3 plus x squared, or potential solution, is equal to 0. And from there, x squared equals minus 3. No number squared will equal a negative number. So there's no solutions to this part of this part of the null factor law when you have all of that is equal to 0. So really i've missed a step here i should have actually said zero equals all of that and from there you get that and that is the next step so i'll just cheat a bit up here and go so really you're going from there to there and then from there to this working out down here that's the x-intercept and i'll show the graph now and the other thing i want to look at before I sketch the graph is this domain up here. So the left hand x value is minus one. So if I let x equal minus one, then y subbing that into this equation to get the y value becomes minus three times minus one minus minus one cubed. And that equals positive three minus minus one. That becomes a positive and then three plus one equals four. So the point minus 1 comma 4 so that's over here somewhere and then it's passing through naught and then if x equals 1 which is the right hand end of the graph 
or the biggest x value, value and summing that into the equation you get y equals minus 3 times 1 minus 1 cubed and that's oops there's the 1 so minus 3 and then minus 1 which equals minus 4 therefore the point 1 comma minus 4 is the end point of the right hand end point of the graph so drawing the graph in something like that and then this point here is this point here minus 1 4 so because that's a square bracket for the x value that means that point is included so I'll color in that and then for this end here this one has to be an open circle because it's a round bracket when x equals 1 so this is now the point 1 minus 4 this open circle and this one here the closed circle is minus 1 4 and you could mark in 4 here if you wanted and there is the graph of this function for that domain so key things to notice here are the square and round brackets and also from here when you use the null factor law to solve y is equal to 0 or the equation is equal to 0 you end up with x squared being a negative number which means there are no solutions so that's about it for these two cubic functions and I'll see you in the next one